Hello everyone, it's your sister Roland and all I need is a few minutes. So last month, remember, Haiti, the people in Haiti had carnival in different places in Haiti, but the main camp place that they have it is in Port-au-Prince. You see how much people was in the streets, you know, running after the Shah, you know, dancing, having different costumes. This is like something that is tradition, tradition in Haiti. See, everybody was having fun. And doing different activities, show showcasing um, the Haitian culture. The people come from all over the world for carnival. I see police. They had police surveying the area, giving security. But you know who was not there at the carnival? Guess who was not there? The gangs. Remember, they were wreaking havoc. The weeks prior, you know, blocking off gas and stuff like that. But now they're back at it again. This is what they're doing. Setting stuff on fire, terrorizing people, terrorizing uh, um, the people that live in the area, burning stuff down. And mind you, there's still remnants of the earthquake that passed in like 2010. So it's already rubble there. But now they're burning buildings, terrorizing the people. People can't go out to um, make a living. But they were, I was like, where were you guys when, where were they when um, carnival was going on? Y'all forgot y'all was being gang. I guess gang activity had stopped during carnival time. And then now they, I guess they, they took a pill to remember that they still have to be a gang. So you see how they burn up this place. This is a place called Maya in Haiti. Just a lot, bunch of smoke. So not only you uh, um, burn down these buildings. And now these people have to inhale all of that. So you don't know what health implications is, um, is going to cause to the children. And the, oh, um, especially for the vulnerable people in that area. This doesn't make any sense. But they were out of commission during carnival. And the obvious solution would be, right, have carnival again and again, right? Because that seems to um, occupy their time. But is, does that really solve the problem? Something is going on here. You have um, Jacqueline Charles. She always reports on the different things that go, goes on in Haiti. She works for the Miami Herald. And you have this other guy. I'm not sure who he is, but he he's another person that reports what's going on in Haiti. And can we go back or at least have something similar to circa Haiti, circa 1940s, 1950s? Check this out because this is amazing. Beau prince, image du passé, vieille de 60 ans, image en noir et blanc. Mais ce n'est pas pour vous habituer à un travail de deuil. Ces images veulent surtout montrer le changement et la permanence. De quoi est faite une ville dans son épaisseur, sa fragilité ou sa force. Question essentielle qu'on se pose, qu'on a envie de poser en regardant les images effacées dans notre souvenir. Le palais national d'une blancheur impeccable. La cathédrale de Port-au-Prince dont Rose Bonbon a croqué. À Port-au-Prince Nous avions la rue à portée de la main. Sous les vérandas, les adultes jouaient aux cartes, aux dominos. Ils donnaient des audiences, c'est-à-dire le petit récit vraisemblable à construire à partir de la vie ordinaire. C'est l'homme 